Tonight, new warnings as New York City is now reporting three cases of botulism-like illnesses linked to potentially counterfeit Botox injections. The city's health department saying all three patients went to emergency departments. One person admitted to the intensive care unit. Okay, here we go. Botox is approved by the FDA, but it's also made from the same toxin that causes botulism. When administered correctly, it comes with little risk, says Dr. Pooja Soda. How many people receive Botox treatments every year? We're talking about millions upon millions. But now the CDC reports 22 women in 11 states have had bad reactions after receiving a counterfeit version of the popular treatment. Half of them sent to the hospital. Symptoms in these cases include slurred speech, droopy eyelids, difficulty breathing, swallowing, and raising arms. The symptoms appeared within days or weeks of getting the shot. In all of these cases, the injections were administered in non health care settings. Unclear at this point is if the cases of illness all stem from one bad batch or if multiple versions of fake Botox are to blame. This is at, still at its heart a medical procedure and needs to be really cared for in that way. The CDC says when receiving Botox injections, make sure the provider is licensed. This is again about having that good relationship with your provider and feeling comfortable to say, hey, can I take a look? Can you talk me through what the product is going to be? And experts say check the label on the box. It should be written in English. And remember, if the price is too good to be true, it's a potential risk to your health. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.